Uh, hello everyone! This is Order of the Duelist by Bai, Season 1, Final Clash Champion. So please introduce yourself, describe your deck, and why you chose the deck. Uh, I'm Richard Rins uh, Balucio, and uh, I chose to go with Scareclaw Castira with Revolution Synchro. Uh, I'll explain first uh, why I chose the deck. Okay. I recognize that this uh, event is a high-pressure environment. It is, uh, I am up against very good players. So I've chosen to bring a deck that I'm very comfortable with. Okay. So it will really take less toll on my mental health. Okay. On my on my on my mental. Um, that, that's fair. That's fair. High pressure games. Okay. Okay. Start to fall. As for the deck. Okay. Let's move on to the deck list. Um. Of course, the heart and soul of the deck. This is Star Force. Um. Okay. One of that. The next is three right card. I think this is pretty standard. Your, your searcher, whether it's normal or special summon, um, a great extender too because it could be special summon from the hand. Inherently or built in, as Konami would say, uh, would refer to it. Built in summon. Built in summon. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go to the smaller scary claw monsters. So we, I, I play two of each. So two of that. And two of this. The reason why I choose to play in this order or number is that um, to have more variety. Uh, a single one of this is already neither combo. It is um, the bare minimum. You could uh, start the bare minimum, the bread and butter of your deck uh, with just any one of this, uh, okay. except for the. The Pizza Star Frost. Okay. And plus, you could normal it and then in here and summon the, the other. Okay. So, um, that's why I'm playing um, two of each. Because um, some people, they, what they do is they play three of this or and cut this only to one. Because this additional effect uh, only provides for piercing, which is not really something you would. Um, look for in a grind case. Yeah, that's my ratio for the Scarecrow parts. And the, the this is the namesake of the deck, Scarecrow Shira. Um, this is very a very very good addition to the deck because previously, um, Scarecrow, uh, a Scarecrow's um, combo sequence gets interrupted by mere destruction of the first normal summon. Okay, because you can. Link line to another scarecrow to summon to its adjacent zone or to its column. Um, what scarecrow Castira provides is another body. So when it is summoned from the hand, it could be summoned. Uh, another scarecrow could be summoned to its adjacent zone. Yeah. So you could, so more than just uh, an extender, it provides um, another play around. Uh, against those uh, cards that destroy my monsters upon someone. To go with that, I play one unicorn and one bird. Because bird is a searchable manufacturer of Kashmir monsters every time. And the side uh, effect is pretty good. Vanishing cards from the all in its green. And the uh, unicorn is just another body. Um, a searchable body at that. Uh, Kash what Kashmir unicorn provides is a plus one, which is um, invert, yeah. uh, bird, yeah. and plus another monster in defense mode. Um, I don't know if um, most of you know, but um, Scareclaw Reichardt has an additional draw effect, like Engage, where, there, where after adding the Scareclaw Spell or Trap, you could draw a card if you have uh, three or more monsters in defense mode at So, um, Unicorn serves as another body to ensure that third uh, body to under So, that's why I run this um, Of course, the Kashigiri spells and traps, um, I mean, Scarecrow spells and traps, I run are these three. Usually, when you go for a Kashmir deck, I mean Scarecrow deck, you're gonna go for four of these. At, uh, of, of any combination, usually two of the arrival um, and two of these. But I chose only three because um, deck space. I highly, highly value hand traps over search, other searchable energy. Because hand traps are always live. 
and they uh, add another uh, layer of interruption if the opponent clears your board. Your hand cards are always live uh, in, in that sense. Not much Skirt of players play this, but I find this very, very effective because this enables you to OTK and, um, unsuspecting enemies. So, if they don't know they're dead, um, just because of this addition, because this adds um, one monster's um, attack of the opponent to your Scareclaw monster. So, it's highest stat. So, if its defense is higher, it gets added to the attack of my monster. So, this is a very, very um, versatile card. The two spells. Uh, I run them as three as a brick. Oh, well, well, to be honest, two is a brick already. I don't know. Really? I, oh, <laughs> there is no match that I don't draw or my first uh, five cards. Um, one of these. It's wow. Very, it's very bricky, to be honest. It searches a uh, uh, no, 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 a scarecrow, right? It, it searches any scarecrow or um, this is Star Force. Okay. Is Star Force. Um, Star, Star Force is the bread and butter of the deck because he not really the bread and butter, but I could call him the star of the deck because okay. it, it enables um, you to access very strong uh, sideboard cards, which are astrolog, astrolog, and um, Baron, Baron de Fleur. Oh, yeah, yeah. So nice. this is searchable by this. Okay. So that's why it's in the deck. Um, <laughs> the next one should be uh, Paraiso. Uh, very self explanatory. Just another searcher. As for the other engine, I am not. I am really, really uncomfortable uh, with only running one engine in the deck. Like um, the Scarecrow engine or even the Kashira engine. It, it's not enough. With the amount of um, interruptions the players here run like hand traps, um, removal cards. Um, it's really not enough to, have, to only have two engines in the deck. So I run uh, Revolution Synchro. So I have access to Ancient Fairy Dragon because I run two, um, two different spell cards. Um, with Ancient Fairy Dragon, they are very accessible. I have practically always have um, a source of level 4 monsters to go with um, the Revolution because any Scareclaw um, turns to Light Heart and then adds the field and then adds the Right Heart. Okay. So it's always live. The Revolution Synchron is always live. But you can always um, search it because I don't run any searcher for this. It's okay. just um, an insurance. Um, so to speak. Um, plus, it runs well with the Kashkir engine because with, with Unicorn, Unicorn, you can normal summon this and then sync. That's Baron, right? Okay. That's an instant Baron. <laughs> um, before Revolution Synchron, I usually summon um, a level 3 hand trap, Ghost Girl, just to summon Baron. But with, with this, I could summon this, saving my hand trap. And that hand trap is another layer of interruption. Yeah, true. Yeah. So that seems to be the trouble of summoning the level 3. Okay, um, okay. My what do you call it? My my spice. The spice, the juice. Oh. I mean the, the sauce. <laughs> the goo. Uh, the goo. <laughs> sure. So to speak. Um, what this does is that maybe I'm raising eyebrows right now, but this is um a very, very uh effective in engine for this scare glow. Um scared glow strategy. Because what it does is that um Similar to how Unicorn supplies one body okay. that is already in defense mode to trigger your right card's um, additional draw effect, um, it sends right phobia or any field spell that you don't need at the moment to draw another, to draw out your hand traps. Because I really, really, again, really um, value hand traps because they are a very good layer of interruption. They don't, they, are, they won't be expected. Okay. It's the least uh, expected uh, source of interruption. So yeah, I really love um, uh, magician, the Magician Soul engine. Um, Did it ever come up where uh, your Magician Soul is not live, you know, the, the draw effect? There are times that it's not live because the opponent might, might um, interrupt me at adding field spells by right card, by light card. But um, at the very at the bare minimum, it's a body. 
Oh yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. And the right, the tryhard monster, uh, the boss monster does not discriminate. Um, in its um, material, it only needs to be that monster. So this is <laughs> okay. So okay. this is um, a valid um, component of the tryhard. Okay. So this is a very good um, addition to the deck, in my opinion. Plus, um, trichophobia is not an interruption. The other fields are in um, visas fields are interruptions, but trichophobia is not because it on it is only activatable during your turn. Yeah. So I'd rather draw a hand trap. And then sacrifice the right cookie. Okay, that makes sense. That's, um, my rap, uh, research. Uh, and then let's go to the miscellaneous, like hand traps and non engine parts. So, oh, my the favorite. engine is done now. Okay, the uh, whole engine is done. Okay, okay, okay. Um, these are my favorite hand traps, to be honest. These are oh, okay. one Bruce Bruce Storm, okay. and then one Magnum. They are limited for a reason. Yeah, it's a reason I agree. To. Um, <laughs> These are um, highly spammable, spammable, especially in my deck because first they, at best, they are interruptions. Um, at the bare minimum, they're exceptions. Yeah. Okay. And plus, um, like my, like the, the, the same logic I apply with my other engine cards, they provide one more body. Yeah. Okay. So you could um, trigger right cards drop it. Okay. So uh, there's that. Does the level six come up? Or no. Unfortunately, not. But there could be a time if I add chaos engine, I could use them and then right card to summon a chaos engine that cannot be destroyed by battle. So okay. That's okay. one option to have. But it's I mainly run with because um, they are very very effective interruptions that some opponents do not expect. Um, for the non engine, of course, the mandatory. Maxi hate. The mandatory Maxi. maxi. Yeah. <laughs> the, the other mandatory Maxi hate. Yes, of course. A combo deck must. Yeah. Uh, must interrupt Maxi. Yeah. Um. The next, I have the Imperm. I, two Imperms. Okay. Only two Imperms. Um. These are for me one of the best hand traps ever made because you could use it in second to Imperm. Yeah. Um. Just with the. Yeah. The Nimperm is a trade for 1 for 1. True. And so, yeah. But why only 2? Because I need a space for B. Um, okay. one, one trouble I'm having is that um, when I resolve Maxi, in those um, rare, very rare occasions where I resolve Maxi, I always draw hand traps that I cannot activate yeah. during the opponent's I was time. about to say, I was so, about to say, yeah. So I'm investing in hand traps that I did actually mesh with Maxi. And uh, can Maxi you can play your opponent's Maxi is only as good yeah. as the cards it draws you. Yeah, so, that's true. So that's um, a quote I live by. So I'm you, I'm running set ending this okay. and this. And of course, the mandatory Draw and Lockbird. Actually, this Draw and Lockbird is only for the cross out. True. Okay. Because um, the people here hate adding cards. <laughs> I don't know why. So, just for the added protection and the option. Actually, I didn't expect Hero to really outperform the other people. So, I was really taken aback. But this Draw and Lockbird really saved my ass in the final. And it's a one-off, so... Um. <laughs> I still have another uh, other non-engine card, which are cards which are okay. Yeah, I was okay. Okay. Of course, OCG. Uh, yeah. Mask. Yeah. Okay. And then the talents. This is the miracle maker of the deck. If Why only one though? Huh? Why only one? Rick. Oh. Wait. They could be. This could be Rick. So this is a miracle maker. Actually, every time I resolve this, I won. Okay. Okay. At that makes sense. This, um, Tournament. What do you always choose? Some or most often that you use? It actually depends. If I have enough engine to take a um, control or a rip, if I'm going first, usually it's rip so that I remove a starter from my opponent's hand. And know the hands, yeah. yeah. And know the hands. Actually, knowing the opponent's hands is a very, very important uh, <laughs> intent, so to speak. So I usually go for those. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. Oh, one of Why? Um, because um, the meta has, has shifted away from links. This is very highly ineffective against links. Because they can be... They can be booked, yeah. They, they can be booked. So this is a very, very big blowout card. 
Because, uh, let's say, our ace cards, they need the interaction ones, the trap cards, can only be activated when an R ace monster is faced up on the field. Okay. Yeah, let's remove that. And plus, um, bright card, again, the heart and soul of the deck, right card, is happy when this card resolves when there are three or more defense position monsters on the field. So oh, it four, counts on the field? Yeah, on okay, the field. Okay, so okay, okay. The, the four monsters are counted. So, yeah, thank you for giving me father. So, <laughs> activate. And, this, and the opponent never expects this. Yeah. Never uh, expects this. So, face down, uh, normal, and uh, then draw. During the tournament, did the draw effect bother you or? The, the draw effect of yeah. this. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, I, I mean, at the at end phase, uh, yes. book of a game. Of course, it does. But um, the trade off is calculated. Okay. Um, for the Spirit Lord, for the Spirit Lord, it doesn't really. The defense, the opponent's defense of the monsters won't save them. Because I have piercing damage, I have extra effects with resolving the defense position monsters on the field. Okay. It would hurt them more than it would save them. So usually when I resolve this during my turn, going second, or with a battle phase, the game is already over. Oh, okay, okay. I'm turning, I'm turning off the their interactions, I'm supplying myself with defense position monsters. Okay. So this is a very, very um, good one for. So let's go to the extra deck. Of course, the hero. That's a side deck, okay, okay. <laughs> side deck, Nibiru, because, uh, fuck your monsters. <laughs> Next is the second deck of Eclipse. Okay. The deck the only one. When oh, you run this? Yes, because this is a, a, a card that really takes people off guard. Scarecrow has an engine that have myriad types. It would hurt me more if I am against a player who runs rival, to be honest. So I, I can freely run this and um, fuck um, other people's day up, um, which, is, which gives me eternal joy. <laughs> Okay. The next is... How many evil leaves do you run? Three. Of course, okay. Um, I usually run in my deck um, two even D and one trust. But running trust is a little bit trusting the opponent too much. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Because it is um, it is not proactive, it is reactive. Yeah. It needs a condition to do yeah. yeah. Whilst drawing this is just good. Drawing, just draw the app. Yeah. So maximize the possibility of drawing the app. Okay. So there's that. For Labyrinth. Okay. Fuck that deck. <laughs> okay, another one. Okay, back or hit, back or hit. Uh, the second um, Droll. Droll. And then my favorite side deck art is... Oh, you run this. Okay. Actually, I haven't resolved this okay. the entire... Um, tournament, but it's um, a safety net. Hand knowledge is really, really nice. And as you can see, there are only limited um, going first cards I run. Uh -huh. Because um, I expect to lose the dice roll. <laughs> okay. And yeah, these are blue out cards to be honest. Knowing the opponent's hand card is very vital. And gripping their starters or board breakers. Okay, and for the final card, I'm running. Super oh, poly. super fun. Because first, fuck Labyrinth. Okay. I, I'm gonna push away their, their mummies. Okay, okay. And um, this is a card that is kind of select one. If this resolves, I I remove two cards from the opponent's field and then I gain a new monster for the OTK. Um, of course, the target. Okay. For the... Um, two darks. Yep, two darks. The most generic target there is, and this is actually for the RAs. Okay. So at least they have more utility to more okay. reasons to run the Super Polymer Safe. So next, the package for the Revolution Synchron. You chose Crystal Wing, okay. Yeah, um, they could have used um, the new visas. Um, synchro because it goes well with this, but yeah. but I'd rather have the the guaranteed negate, okay, rather than the extra add. Okay, I don't need the extender. I need the A negate. Okay, so plus this becomes an extender in itself. Uh, yeah, it's, it's almost a level four or lower from my hand for the cost of my battle phase. So yeah, I uh, love this. It won me a game with against RAs. <laughs> Um, the reason you play is us. Yeah. Baron. And this two. Okay. The reasons you play Visas. Um, 
um, additional interruptions. Actually, I run this because I have this chart. Mm -hmm. So, activate this, um, change it to this chart. Uh, Magnum, and not Magnum, Drew is worth It's um, a guarantee to re remove all of the bodies from the pool. So, if I run the unicorn, of course I'll be running. Uh, Access code, okay. Um, unfortunately, I only have um, links that are dark, but this is um, an easy access to a 5-3 bit stick with one pass. So, you can't really go wrong with access code. Yeah, yeah. This goes well against um, decks like Hero. I have more than, more than once or twice or thrice, I have stolen their DP. And then the last would be, of course, the Light Heart. Card? I only run two of these. Okay. Um, because of the field. And then, of course, Tryhard, my, my boss monster. Um, I run three rather than two because um, this effect, his effect is not once per turn. With a cost of one more um, right Tryhard, I could amass a follow up for the next turn. So, yeah. That's why try hard. So, that's basically it. That's the whole list? Yeah. So, any final thoughts you want to give? Really not much to add to that, aside from very had fun. And, uh, yeah. I look forward to more Yu-Gi-Oh! from the community. Right, very nice, very nice. Do you have any, like, uh, changes you want to make if in case you want to change something? All of the changes um, in this deck is meta calls, are meta calls. Okay. The changes I'm gonna make are, will depend on the players I know who are going to play with the most trouble. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It, it will depend on the opponent's decks, the repertoire decks, and their skill level, to be honest. I'm gonna prioritize um, adapting against those who I acknowledge. Okay. And wing my way through it against the people who are who are who I know are I have um, I have advantages against. So. I see, I see. That makes sense. So, uh, yeah, maximization of resources. So that's it. Any shout outs or anything? <laughs> shout outs. I mean, you're the champion, bro. Come on. <laughs> shout outs. I mean, shout outs to to Kansen for okay. for giving us a place to. Play. Stop. Okay. Play. Okay. <laughs> I mean, what are cards without the place to play? Yeah, true, true. true. Play, it's play, really play. hard to find a place. And shout out to my girlfriend in Manila. Hey. I her one and this one's for you. And yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for this interview, and see you next time. Bye.